Hi everybody! So yeah, <laughs> this day finally came and I'm doing a video tarot deck review. So yeah, I have 10 decks already and um, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna show them all in this video today. Uh, I'm gonna do well, you know, deck by deck. <laughs> each deck has its its each its video, sorry. Each video for each deck. Yeah. And uh, the first deck that I chose is the Light Seer's Tarot. So, um, why I chose it first for the review? Because I heard and I saw a lot of people liking it. And so I was like, okay, let's start with this deck because, you know, everybody likes it. So, and I'm sure everybody wants to have a review on it. So, uh, especially from me, I don't know, like <laughs> my subscribers, they were like, yeah, I'm waiting for your deck review. And I'm like, okay, well, I'll do it then. So, yeah. This is how the Light Series Terror is, and for the, you know, shipping, buying, paying, etc., etc., where did I get it? I got it on Book Depository, so no Amazon. I never shop on Amazon when it comes to tarot decks. So, um, if you are curious and if you want to, you know, buy it at the same place where I did, I will, of course leave a link below and um that's the thing like i didn't buy it for this price i bought it for like around 20 dollars or something because i bought it in euros and in euros it was like around 17 euros which is 20 dollars so um because they had sales it was around christmas time and so i bought it um during Christmas sales. That's why I got it for less price than here. And I didn't pay for the shipping. So that was a pretty, you know, pretty good deal. Um, so yeah, now that you know where I purchased it, <laughs> now that you know where you can find it, um, let's skip. Yeah, let's, let's not let, let's not skip. Let's just dive into it. Okay. So yeah. This is how the bo book box, yeah, book box, <laughs> book and the box. That's, that's, uh, I'm so bad with this. I don't know. I try to work on it, but I rumble a lot. And this, this is something that really irritates me. So, um, this is how the, you know, the box is inside. And you have this little cute message inside it that you already had the chance to read. And we have the book. And first of all, I need to say that this book is thick because it's the first time I see a guidebook being being so thick. And this is obviously the beautiful author of this deck. And um, yeah, you know, the guidebook is fine. It wasn't that necessary to me, but from time to time I was like, how did the author view this card and so I could like pick uh peek into it but like just these parts I have I never read this <laughs> just to be up you know to be really honest with you so um the guidebook is cool you have the upright meanings and the reversals and the upright meanings are the lights here and the Reversed meanings is the Shadow Seer. So they have a couple of spreads here. So the Light of the Day draw, the Light and Shadow spread. Uh, so yeah. And in this review, I actually want to do one of them or like two to just see how this works. Okay. So we will come back to this. <laughs> okay. So we have... Um, Pretty much this is how all the pages look like for each cart. And um, we have a little motor over the over here for each cart. And I find it cool. I find it cool. So um, yeah. guidebook, cool. You can read it. Pretty much informative, helpful. So yeah. But not that helpful. Like if you don't have it, it's not the end of the world. Okay, let's dive into the cards. <laughs> so 
So the back is like that. I mean, I find it pretty. Some maybe people don't find it pretty, by, but I do. The cardstock. Pretty, pretty thick, you know, it's fine. And let's jump into it. <laughs> I said it twice. Um, so that's the thing. I already used this deck uh, several times for like a month uh, or so. No, no, more than a month, like three months already, because I bought it like around December, you know, Christmas time, during Christmas time. So like for the whole winter, I was having this deck. I can talk about my experience of working with it and stuff like that. So I will do it in the end of the video. But first, let's just, you know, contemplate the cards. I'm not going to rumble a lot about them. I'm just going to show some of them to you. I mean, not some, but all of them to you. So it's going to be kind of like also a flip through. But um, I don't know if you want me to talk about the cards. I don't want, like, I will just, let's say... I will just do a flip through and if I have a comment to say, I will. So here we have the fool and uh, here we see that she's like trustful. She, she's doing a trustful. She trusts the universe. She, she trusts the unknown. She jumps into the unknown, which is very, you know, fool, the fool card, meaning magician. Very cool card. He masters all the four elements. We don't have the wands, cups, etc., etc., just like in the Rider Waite, but we kept the, the Luminescata. We have the elements here. So we have water, air, earth, and fire. So he masters them all <laughs> like an avatar. The High Priestess is very, very beautiful to me because her eyes are closed, but and the same time they're open so i feel like it's the first time like it's one of the only decks where i saw this kind of depiction for the high priestess and i absolutely loved it so this is a new thing that the author brought to the high priestess and i feel like it suits her so well the empress obviously the empress is absolutely gorgeous she's pregnant her belly is earth earth is connected to the moon the moon is connected to the earth everything flourishes her hair has you know leaves in it um it's really a very big um how can i say it? a very big mother energy and this is what we want from the empress not just that obviously but i feel like this card translates this mother energy so well the emperor very cool card for me because um his th throne is the planet Mars <laughs> and we see we do see the Aries uh, Aries sign um, aspect here so he's very confident beautiful man um, yeah and another thing is this deck is very modern so you will not see classical you know knights uh, and stuff like that it's really like real m people dressed like real people you know <laughs> it's just uh yeah it's not something fancy or like medieval times like rider weight which i also love you know because again we need something new we need something more modern right and this is what this deck provides the hierophant is cool because well that's the thing we do have this masong <laughs> stare but um that's like the negative part, I would say. Like I don't I don't like this the stairs. But um if we don't take the masson part of the um you know of this card and we just like interpret the stairs like normal stairs, I would say it's just stairs to find your high spirituality and be completely in your zen you know <laughs> be happy be happy be fulfilled like just like buddha you know this is how i see the hierophant here is literal buddha the lovers very cute card look at that the choice is already made and um i mean obviously it's it, it always has the 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 meaning of the choice like choosing the one person in your life and commit to it but um i like how their hair are like you know 
stuck or like just the wind kind of like puts them together. It's really, really cute. Really, really cute. <laughs> so, yeah. And I, f I, I like the fact that they're different skin color. So it means like different people getting together. That's also very important. The chariot. Classical chariot, nothing to say. They just changed uh, a little bit the art, st the art style, but in, in the essence, it's a pretty much classical, classical chariot. Strang. I love the strang here because um, the woman is the lion and she needs to master her animalistic instincts in order to, you know, be gentle with the, with those who are weaker than her. Sorry if the, the, the light is a bit odd here. It's better. So yeah, very cool card. Um, I like it. The hermit, pretty much, you know, classical, nothing to say. She's in a cave and she tries to meditate and find herself. The Wheel of Fortune. I like the fact that it's like also a card of gambling. <laughs> like, you know, gamble, trying to be lucky, stuff like that. You know, that's that's also cool. Justice. I like that when you reverse it, it also has the woman. The woman, her eyes are open. And for me, it's like... I see everything. Me, even if I'm blind, I see. I see you. <laughs> the hangman. Well, the hangman I absolutely loved because this is a literal um, reference to Odin when he created runes. And we do see runes over there. So Odin created runes when he was hanging um, on Yggdrasil. That's the the I, I, if I remember well, if I did a mistake, correct me. But I I remember he hanged himself uh, on a tree to find runes. So like to ink he and then he created the runes. Like he had thoughts about it and stuff. So this is a clear reference uh, for Odin, but also um, pretty much classical hangman over there. But the hangman has the this. You know, this vibe of being the victim of a situation that he can't get out of uh, unless he changes his perspective on things. Here we don't specifically see a victim, but she does need to, to you know, change her perspective on things in order to escape this hanging situation. Death Rebirth. I love the fact that we see the infinity sign here and death and rebirth both on the card so it's really important to me because it is a card of rebirth and death so you know like it, it's like the, the the infinite cycle of death and rebirth this is something it's the first time i see this in a deck and that's absolutely amazing temperance pretty classical you know it's just instead of having um cups this angel has planets, moon and sun, so balance, you know, and um, yeah, pretty much classical, nothing to say. The devil. Oh, look at that man. <laughs> look at that guy. <laughs> um, I think that um, I like the chain tattoo here, which also classical i like the devil is that the devil let me can't really focus well huh <laughs> but it's also it's yeah it's the devil skeleton um tattoo which is also cool and another thing is also obviously like the puppet here so manipulation trickery and um the symbol of god if i remember well like it's not mentioned it never mentioned um it's never mentioned sorry in the guidebook but uh someone told me that this sign um is related to god so basically the devil here kind of um, you know puts himself in the place of god 
which is a clear reference to Lucifer. And um, yeah, so like manipulation, trickery, temptations, addictions, slavery, but sla slave sl being a slave to your own addictions. Very classical. The tower. I like this one. It's cute because, <laughs> I mean, the, the situation is not cute, but I feel like the squirrel that loses its um its house and needs to move and find a new one, I feel like that's cute. Like, it, it's a cute depiction of the tower um, that we never see in another decks. <laughs> at, at, at least I don't, it's the only deck I have um, in, in which I have this depiction of the tower. The star. Pretty classical, nothing to say. She holds to her dream. She's hope, she has hope, etc., etc., you know. Mm. The moon. Um, diving into your fears, dreams, illusions. And I like that it has water and like she's, she's basically just going down, 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 down. So yeah, pretty classical in some ways. The sun is so bright. Look at that. It's such a bright card. I love it. It's so colorful. Um, I like how it's the sun, but also the sunflower. And she dances and she's happy. It's, 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 it's just cool. It's really, really cool. The judgment. Uh, I see a card as more, you know, the liberation of yourself. When you let yourself out. <laughs> That's one of the, mm, the interpretations I can also give to that card. But this one is not a classical depiction, obviously. <laughs> not right or wait over there. And the world. The world. Pretty classical. Pretty classical. Uh, Ace of Wands, nothing to say, fire, Two of Wands, planning, planning to travel, Three of Wands, already, we are, we are traveling already, Four of Wands, we're having fun, we have um a safe place where we can live and, you know, be happy, etc, etc, Four of Wands, Five of Wands, here we have the conflict yes but also concurrence to get this flame to get this fire which is cool because it is a card of conf um, concurrence six of wands i like this one because um it's a very modern way of showing the six of wands and that's why i love it you know um another thing another interpretation i can um, see for this card is someone likes for example if this card falls for a person i would say that this person likes to be under the spotlight so, so yeah, you know, that's pretty cool. Seven of Wands. Not specifically classical, but I feel like um, this, uh, this interpretation is just showing, this card is just showing being calm and zen, even if you have challenges around you, you know, like going through challenges in a very calm and peaceful way, meditating, etc., etc. Eight of Wands pretty classical nothing to say over there just something goes fast you know nine of wands pretty classical too nothing to say here similar to rider weight ten of wands difficult times but she's not alone she has a companion over there <laughs> page of wands Knight of Wands. I like how they kept this fire energy in both of them, especially here, the Knight of Wands. The rhythm, the rhythm, you know, and even the, the horse uh, on the background also is, you know, <laughs> typing the, the rhythm. Queen of Wands, super happy lady with a super cat, a super happy cat. <laughs> the black cat, obviously, always for the Queen of Wands. Candles. So yeah, King of Wands. Look at that beautiful man with a lion, with a lion, uh, on the background. 
but also his crown is made of fire which is super cool <laughs> and we're moving to cups cups ace of cups pretty much you know classical opening your heart love etc etc two of cups very cute depiction of the two of cups look at that that's that's adorable three of cups i mean three girls having a party <laughs> together <laughs> pretty classical you know Four of Cups. I like this one. I like the energy of this one. Like, oh, I'm so bored. Or like, ah, oh, what to do? I tried so many things, but what to do now? Like, stuff like that. And, like, she has all these colors around her, but she never notices, notices them. So that's also a cool depiction of it. Five of Cups. Losing things. But also, I feel like, for me, this card is not just this, just losing and then dealing with it. It's literally when you... When you are the initiator of losing something when because of your fault you lost everything and you just prefer to put your energy in something useless and um, un unconstructive that's also one of the depictions i can see here six of cups is an absolutely cute card for me because uh, <laughs> first of all we have a golden retriever over there um because I, I i love them they're adorable and cute but another thing is, <laughs> I love how they showed him and the dog being babies, and then they grew up together, and they kept the same cup, and it's just like, you know, old friends, old friends. So it's a very cool depiction for the Six of Cups. Seven of Cups, illusions, pretty pretty brighter waiter, brighter waitish over there, you know? Nothing... Nothing uh, new. Six of cups. Uh, six of us. Eight of cups, sorry. Eight of cups. Pretty... Pff, yeah, pretty classical, but just like the cups are under under the water already. Except this one. Nine of cups. Super cool, too. Like, she's under the water. She found gold. She's fulfilled. And she's happy, you know. And ten of cups. I love the ten of cups because... Uh, we see an LGBTQ couple over there, um, two women having kids, and um, um, and the rainbow obviously for the LGBTQ. So, I love using this deck for LGBTQ people. Like, for example, if a LGBTQ uh, person asks me for a reading about you know the the relationship i would i would take this one because this one is really really reads well for that and as much as um you and you know you might tell me that well yeah you know all decks must be inclusive there is one deck that i will present to you that is an erotic deck that reads so so bad for um you know gay couples like I never use it for gay couples. Like if I if I know that the person is gay, I will take this one. <laughs> like, but with the other one I have that I will present to you. Like for example, I'll, okay, I will show it to you. I will show it to you in this video, but I will not do it in a review on it here, but in another video. It's this deck, Manara. I never read with this deck on gay people because it's just it's it's it doesn't work. It doesn't read well. So, yeah, but this one reads absolutely well. So this is also one one point that maybe is interesting for you guys, but I just wanted to mention. Page of Cups. Okay, Page of Cups. Um, not very classical over there, but I like the fact that this guy is very dreamy and kind of like naive. Um head in the clouds <laughs> so yeah the knight of cups look at that beautiful man having the the romantic picnic over there roses everything you know <laughs> everything everything to charm a lady huh <laughs> queen of cups is absolutely gorgeous her crown is made of water and her eyes are closed so it's it's super cool super super cool her table is also made of water, <laughs> so <laughs> that's cool too. And the King of Cups uh, also, crown in water. 
and um the you know emotional maturity i like the fact that he's old <laughs> okay ace of swords i like this one i like this one not a classical one but i love it it's when you like you try to understand the situation you're trying to understand yourself like going downstairs till the essence of your mind super super cool depiction of the ace of swords two of swords oops sorry two of swords um yeah being tear teared apart by two opposite things and we don't know what to choose we're stuck you know pretty pretty classic so yeah. Three of Swords is a very intense card. For me at least. It's a very, very intense card. Um it's very it's very painful to watch. And even her tattoo, like, you know. It's very painful to watch. The fact that some people try to sue the heart but it didn't work. The black like dark background she's crying and screaming of pain very intense card of there <laughs> very intense three of swords four of swords rest 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 after this yes yes <laughs> we need it we need it okay five of swords danger danger headaches because here we have like uh blood and the guy who risks to fall after someone else so yeah six of swords travel journey voyage <laughs> yeah pretty classic pretty classic even if the illustration is not right or weight like Seven of Swords, uh, trickery, betrayal, lying. Um, yeah, I can see that. I can see that because he is stealing something, like he's ready to backstab. So yeah, I wouldn't trust that guy. And we have the moon here too. So yeah, illusions, you know, like trickery. Pretty, pretty cool. Eight of Swords, pretty classical, but I like the fact that it's all happening in the mirror. So it means that it's all in your in her head and not in reality. That's also one of the depictions I can give to that card. Nine of Swords, nightmares, because she is on her bed, but not really. She's kind of like, you know, and all these crowds disturbs her mind and she's crying. I mean, pretty classical too, but we just don't see the swords like on Rider Waite um, deck. Ten of Swords, not classical at all, at all, because we don't see someone being completely, <laughs> completely dead here, uh, stabbed by ten swords. No, it's just she went through so much that now she decides to move on from it and heal. So it's also a process of healing after, you know, after experiencing something super traumatizing and um, difficult. Page of Swords. You know, um, learning, learning, um, find solutions, originality, creativity, uh, but like more of a, like um, intellectual creativity, you know, like when you um, invent something. For me, this also card, um, this card is also a card of an inventor when you invent something. Like, oh, Eureka, I found it, you know, <laughs> stuff like that. Knight of Swords. I like the fact that he she he has a bike and not a horse. <laughs> that's uh that's cool. The arbalet that like, you know, everything flow goes fast. Gotta go fast, you know, this kind of vibe. Um Queen of Swords. Oh, I actually just noticed that. Look at that. The cup is in a prison. <laughs> <laughs> so she imprisoned her emotions. She imprisoned a cup. So she is actually not influenced by her emotions. She is very reasonable. And her mind is clear because the sky is, you know, she's in the sky and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, very cool uh, depiction of Queen of Swords. Another thing is, I don't know if you noticed, but I feel like it's the same lady that was on the Justice card. So... Cool, cool connection. Queen, King of Swords. Um, 
Very cool. We have the air sign up there, by the way. Lots of flying creatures. Owl, bat, crow, um, mountains, so air. Um, so yeah, cool, cool. And pretty much classic, you know, in the end, pretty much classic. And we are finishing... Almost done. <laughs> when we're finishing with the pentacles. Pentacles. Ace of pentacles. Growth. Seed. That's cool. Two of pentacles. Quiet classical. Just not the illustration, but the base is here. Three of pentacles working on something together for the classical. Four of pentacles. I like that she keeps her wallet from everyone. <laughs> <laughs> and she has a rune here on her uh, earring. I'm not familiar 100% uh, with the runes. I'm still learning. So for now, I don't use these rune signs in my interpretations. But later on, maybe I will. Um. So yeah. Five of Pentacles. Um, puberty. Misery. But at the same time... You need to find the key, and the key is just next to you, but she doesn't see it because she's way too busy crying and, you know, feeling bad about everything. So yeah, that's also one of the uh, depictions I can see here. Like, the key is next to you, just open up your eyes. Six of Pentacles, pretty classical exchange of money, energies, time, whatever, emotions, whatever you think about. Seven of Pentacles... You give something, you like you put the seeds and it grows. So yeah, the process of getting resources from your work. Um, also, this is what I can see with this card. Eight of Pentacles, working, pretty much classical skills, work, etc. You know, classic. Nine of Pentacles, successful lady. She has lots of Pentacles over there. She's happy. She's successful. She is. Um, she's good in her life. She has lots of resources. <laughs> so yeah, pretty classical. And ten of Pentacles. Look at that cute, happy family. Uh, dog, like the 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 perfect family for everyone. Dog, kids, two people being happy with each other. Uh, bringing money to the um, to the to the family, etc., etc. Another thing is uh, we have the sign, the Kabbalic sign over there of the Tree of Life. Um, so I feel like that's pretty much maybe a reference to the tenth position of the Kabbalic tree, like you know, because it's a very earthy, earthy. Uh, card over there so yeah uh, um yeah my dog is crying right now oh what it was sleeping now it's crying because it thinks that someone came and in he that's basically my dog when he hears someone, he wants to see it. He wants to, like, you know, welcome it. Welcome someone. But the thing is, nobody came in, in the house. <laughs> he just thinks so. That's why he wants to, like, go out. But nobody. I will already walk to you. <laughs> so, yeah. Ten of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. Pfft, pretty classical, you know. I mean, student, learning, learning to keep balance, being grounded. Yeah. Knight of Pentacles. This is what I love about the Knight of Pentacles here is because he's walking and um, he, like, you know, throws seeds on the ground that will grow later. So he is, he's ready to wait because he's patient and stable. But at the same time, he's walking. So he's slow. He doesn't take the horse. He doesn't want to rush. So yeah, very cool depiction for the Knight of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles, pretty classical, you know. Rich lady, found, found her stability. And we come back to the King of 
Pentacles, who is absolutely gorgeous. Look at that man. Rich man. Old. Having the wolf next to him, I feel like it's um like a sign of like protector. And um stability. And the fact that wolves mate for life. So for me, like wolves are like a symbol of for stability also. So yeah. So yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> uh, we'll see how you will welcome my video about this deck. I know everybody was... Not everybody, but some of the people was were waiting for, for this to happen. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, even if in the end I was like... <laughs> talking about my dog, which is not super interesting. But um, yeah. <laughs> Hope you're having a good day, a great night, a great morning. And yeah, I'll leave your likes, comments below what you think about this deck, what you enjoyed about it. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video about and another deck that you will see. It's going to be a surprise. So yeah, bye.